Hi and welcome back to part two of the Orc Mech Boss in Mech Armor. And this is the show and tell portion where uh, the model's been built and uh, magnetised. And as you can see it's just uh, spinning around so you can see all the various pieces. And uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, show various configurations of this and comparisons to um, other items in the Cromlech range and other items in other ranges as well. This is the build with the uh, power claw and the um, shock attack gun attachment on the back. Um, now what I've done is I've only magnetised the the claw on the right arm. I haven't actually magnetised the arm itself, so it, the arm is fixed in position, but the claw can be swapped out for the chainsaw, uh, which is quite a simple conversion. Just uh, requires a, a drill and um, some decent neodymium magnets. And this is the variant with the banner polar um, and some other models for comparison size. Uh, so you have the uh, Cromlech Warboss, who is uh, pretty much the same size, and then the slightly smaller Mecha Armors, uh, which is equivalent to um, yeah, Orcs in Mecha Armor, and then this little guy here which is uh, a Gretchen with a banner pole so he is absolutely tiny by comparison as you can see this example shows some of the 40k orc mechs and a war boss let's give you an idea of how it fits in with some of the larger models so you see it's pretty huge this gives us uh, some scale for uh, some standard size orcs and uh, leader characters uh, so you can see uh, a Gretchen, um, an orc with a jump pack, a standard orc, the mad orc bomber what bombs at midnight and then in the far right you can see uh, the Cromlech heavy armour orcs and boss there In this example we've got um, an Orc Dreadnought, or Death Dread, to the left, and uh, a Biker to the right. That's a scratch-built Biker, and I did say this was show and tell, so... He has his own shock attack gun trailer. Which actually clips in. Finally, we have some Mantic miniatures from Dead Zone, and uh, if I just pop one of the chaps there next to him. So there we go, um, that's plenty of scale examples, hopefully um, that wasn't too boring and uh, at least there were some pretty models to look at. Anyway, that's it, thanks very much, bye.